Let's see if we can get through this video without getting interrupted. Or not. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do my August favorites. And I tried not to make it too long. I really tried to narrow it down the best I could because as you know, I did a huge haul about a month ago at Ulta and CVS and Sephora. And I kind of want to um, go through all that at some point and do a ride or die video. So I was trying to separate so I'm not, I don't keep showing you the same products over and over. So let's get started. Um, one of the things I found, I got this at Walmart and I absolutely love it. I've been using this almost every night. It is Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt Soaking Solution in the Detoxifies and Energize with ginger and clay. This is, I think, the three pound bag. Um, if I could buy it in bigger bags, I would. I absolutely love this stuff. I love the way it smells. Um, I took a bath and then I went out the other night and somebody kept saying to me, oh my God, you smell so amazing. And it was this. So I really love this. Um, it's great for a nice soak like after I run. Um, so that is one of my new August favorites. Um, the other thing I have that is kind of a non um, makeup item is the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. I absolutely love this stuff. I got this when I was on my birthday weekend vacation. Um, I use this at night. I put it around my eyes. And when I wake up in the morning, um, yeah, they just look amazing. So I read about this, I think, in InStyle Magazine or something. And there was, um, there was a Kiehl's, like right where we were staying. And it was $28.50 for this not cheap but it's not like I have eye creams that are like way more expensive than this um, but this is one of my new favorites um, nail polish. Now, uh, you all know I own a nail polish company I do love OPP um, other people's polish this one is a Sally Hansen I just love the color it reminds me I don't know it's kind of like an old lady color but it reminds me of Back in the day, I used to wear, I think, something called like Windsor or something by CoverGirl. This one is actually 465 Scarlet. It's not Scarlet. It's more of like a dusty rose pink old lady color. It's an old lady color, but I like it. So that's one of my new favorites. I've been wearing this a lot. Um, as you all know, I am in love with Hard Candy Glow All The Way. This one is in Sunburst. I loved it so much that I bought another one. Um, this one is my favorite. I just love, look at that. It's really shiny, like it's almost like a blush with highlighter built in. So pretty. Love, love, love this. So I bought another one as a backup. Um, the other thing I'm absolutely in love with, like, could eat this up. I almost want to buy another one as a backup because I'm like, oh, oh, is my Lorac Pro Contour Palette. Oh my God. I am just so, so, so in love with this. And I've used this in all different ways. Like I've used this under my brow bone. I've got that on today. I've used this one as a shadow in my crease. Um, yeah, I just, I grab this palette all the time for different things. So worth the money. I got this at Ulta. Love it. I could just, oh, uh, I could eat it. Ah, yeah. Go get one. Seriously, go get one. All right. Then I bought this and a lot of people left comments on my page saying like, I would never wear those colors. The colors are weird. I'm really disappointed with it. I'm so in love with this palette. This is the Anastasia World Traveler palette. This is, you know, people step out of your comfort zone. If you're into makeup, like just buy it and get creative. It's so worth it. Like this pink champagne color, I've been using a lot on my lid. It is just amazing. It's um, kind of a metallic pink, but it looks really almost like liquid 
and it looks amazing on the lid. Um, this Morocco, like I love these pinky brown bricky colors. Um, this is an amazing color. The fudge, the deep brown, um, the azure is like an incredible brilliant blue. They blend gorgeous. I like the um, intense gaze. This one, this one's really uh, like a really pretty pink to just use to blend out. I love the brushes they're putting in here too. Like I grab this brush all the time, not just for my Anastasia colors, but all the time. Um, it's that you just have to play with it. It, it doesn't, they don't go on looking like they look in the palette. They're amazing. So for all the naysayers out there that left me comments and said, oh, those colors wouldn't work for me, you would so be surprised. Like step out of your comfort zone and go get it. Um, it's a great price. I think it is one of the more reasonable palettes out there and it is definitely my August favorite. So with that said, I bought this at Sephora. It's a um, luminizing, luminous um, foundation primer. I don't know if they're selling this anymore. I got this off the website for sale um, for $7. And I don't know if they're discontinuing it again. I should probably buy a backup. Love, love, love this primer. I've been using it all month and it is definitely a favorite. Um, I keep looking down because I have everything in my lap. Um, I got this in, I think it was either my Ipsy bag or it was um, my BoxyCharm, but it's the um, Mika or Mika Beauty Cosmetics Gel Eyeliner. This was the one that was really expensive. I think this was in my BoxyCharm and it was like $34 for a black gel eyeliner and I was like, holy cow, that is expensive way expensive. I would never, never spend that, but I'm telling you, I love this. I have been grabbing this and using it every day. Um, it really has some staying power to it too. Um, so I'm loving this. I'm really kind of surprised uh, how much I love it because I am such a NYX eyeliner and e.l.f. gel eyeliner girl, and this was pretty amazing balls, I have to admit. Um, Urban Decay, I bought this on my, uh, my little Ulta haul. This is called Snatch of all things. I like, like this morning I was looking for it so I could put it in this video and I'm like, where's my Snatch? Anyway, so this is really pretty. Let me see if I can swatch this on a finger I haven't swatched already. It's really, really pretty. And I've been using this on my lid as well. I've kind of been alternating all month with this and the pink champagne from the um, Anastasia palette just so so pretty I really like it um, obviously because it's in my favorites video Hello. Um, a few other things this was kind of like uh, born this way foundation by Too Faced I loved this a lot of people on YouTube have been saying that after they wear it for about an hour or so it gets really greasy looking on them I have not had that happen probably because I have dry skin but I use a really um, Good primer well I've been using the illuminating primer actually and I have not gotten any greasiness with this uh, it's been working well for me so this is my favorite foundation this month the born this way this is in the light beige um, I bought this on my haul at um, Ulta this is my NYX um, Eros lipstick love this. I've been wearing this a lot, like a whole lot. That's what it looks like. It's kind of like an, kind of an orangey red, but not real orange. It's just such a pretty color. It was a good summer red for me. I just loved this. Um, and also from NYX, I picked up the um, colored mascaras. I got a blue and purple. I'm actually loving these. I've been using them depending on my outfit of the day. I do do a lot of um, purple eye and I do a lot of blue eye makeup and I wear a lot of um, navy and white in the summer. So I've been using this one probably most. I do like them. I was kind of surprised. I wasn't sure how I would feel about colored mascara and I'm into it. 
loving it. This also came in one of my monthly subscription box. This is the, I can't even pronounce it, Douche, D-O-U-C-C-E Cosmetics. It's an ultra precision eyeliner. Was in, I believe, can't even tell you if it was Ipsy or BoxyCharm. I'd have to go back and look at the videos. But I do like this. It is really a nice creamy black eyeliner. Very happy with that. And I've been using this um, pretty much all, well, since I got it. So the last two weeks, I've been grabbing for this one every day. So I think that's it. That's like everything that has really done it for me in August and is, is really worth mentioning to you guys. Like I said, I'm gonna do another video and review kind of some of my haul items. There were a few things that I hauled and they need to die. And then I have a lot that I hauled that can continue the ride with me. So stay, stay tuned for a ride or die video. And I also have an empties video coming up. We had a few empties this month and we'll talk about that. Subscribe, like, share. And give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Now that song's stuck in my head. Who's down with OPP? Yeah, you know me. Who's down with OPP? Yeah, you know me.